corner of the project yes. you're asking? Yes. That's an existing wetland to remain? So just whatever is right there is the way it's going to stay? Okay. Yeah, that's regulated by the state, so. Okay. Okay. Is there any other questions? Oh, we appreciate your time. Thanks for, uh, yeah. Thank you. Okay, is there any other questions from council? If not, all those in favor say yes. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries. Item 6.2 is a motion to approve the purchase of 10 True Speed Laser and 10 True Speed Batteries from Laser Technology Inc. Sole source for an amount not to exceed 22,000. And this is funded through the 2018 Justice Assistance Grant. Motion. Support. Okay, I have a motion by Councilwoman Winton, supported by Councilman Bazura. Is there any discussion? Hi, Mr. Chair, I do. It's sure. <laughs> Does this have to go through a bid? Through the JAG grant, not, not necessarily. We did do a bid process with okay. this. So this is, was an existing company that we used prior to this. Okay, and then on the last page we have here comments. Quote was obtained by department. Purchasing was not involved with the purchase. Because it was a JAG grant. Because it is JAG, okay. okay. Are there any other questions? Thank you. Thank you. All those in favor say yes. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries. Item 6.3 is a motion to amend CCR number 7.374-19 by the amount of $3,200 to bricks for final install of the station alerting system. Motion. Support. Support. Okay, I have a motion by Councilwoman Pat, supported by Councilman Remick. Is there any discussion? If not, all those in favor say yes. Yes. All opposed say no. Motion carries. 6.4 is a motion to approve the one motion to approve one fire department member to use a fire department vehicle to travel to and from the National Fire Academy in Washington DC. Motion to approve. Support. Yeah, I have a motion by Councilwoman Winton, supported by Councilman Bazura. Is there any discussion? I have Mr. Chairman. Yeah. Deputy Chief Pachran. I just have two questions. What are the dates? What is the date? Um, <clears throat> thank you, first of all, for having me down here to speak tonight for you. Um, very good question. The question is, I should be there right now, but because of COVID, it was pushed back until I think it is January 5th now. Uh, January 5th through the 19th, it's a 14-day class. January? January, yes. Should and what vehicle? Uh, it'd be the vehicle, the deputy chief vehicle that's out there right now, the pickup with the uh, Lake Martha, this and that. So this is next January? Yes, ma'am, but we had it approved for this budget, but because the COVID pushed us back, like I said, I'd be there right now, they rescheduled the class. So. Okay, again, the date's January? I want to say it's January 5th through the 19th, yeah. but do not quote me on that. I'd have to get back to you on more of the dates. They really haven't given me the exact dates yet. Could you email that to us when you do get it? Yes. Thank you. Is there any other discussion? Thank you, Chief. All those in favor say yes. Yes. All opposed say no. Motion carries. Item 6.5 is a motion to approve payment of quality assurance assessment tax to the state of Michigan in the amount of $4,709.05 to be funded through General Fund Fire Department ALS Fund. Motion. Support. Yeah, I have a motion by Councilwoman Wynn, supported by Councilman Bazura. Is there any discussion? Free to go. If not, all those in favor say yes. Yes. All opposed say no. Motion carries. Item 6.6 .6 is a motion to receive and file payment of the rental fee to Premier Fire Rescue, Premier Fire Rescue in the amount of $2,295 to be funded through General Fund Fire Department ALS. The rental was for a portion count, port account to fit test at 95 for COVID-19. Motion. Support. Okay, I have a motion by Councilman Rannick, supported by Councilwoman Pats. Is there any discussion? If not, all those in favor say yes. Yes. All opposed say no. Motion carries. I probably could have put those on the consent. So item 6.7 through 6.2 are for ALS supplies, fire purchases for the fiscal year. Um, 6.7 and what? 6.7 through 
6.12. Can I have a motion on one on those? Motion. Support. Okay, I have a motion by Councilman Remick, supported by Councilman Johnson. Is there any questions on any of those? If not, all those in favor say yes. 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 All opposed say no. Motions carry. Okay, item 6.13 is a motion to approve global building maintenance, low quote, to provide interior exterior window cleaning services at city-owned buildings for an amount not to exceed $26,000 funded through TBA repair and maintenance. Motion. Support. Okay, I have a motion by Councilman Ramick, supported by Councilwoman Winton. Is there any discussion? I have one. Mr. Guido. Mr. Newman. Who does the cleaning right now for the, on the windows? Uh, no one. No. <laughs> That's why they're dirty, right? <laughs> and I don't believe, uh, as long as I've been here, there's never been a contract for exterior, interior window cleaning services. So this will be a major improvement. We'll do two services per calendar uh, fiscal year. And this is all, explain the buildings too, that this is throughout the whole city? All city buildings, excluding golf course, which they already have a uh, maintenance program that they're uh, entered into. And that includes these windows? Atrium, everything. They went through these buildings, so every window will be cleaned spring and fall. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Is there any other questions? If not, all those in favor say yes. Yes. All opposed say no. Motion carries. Motion 6.14 is a motion to approve Panchura LLC low quote to install a Porta John enclosure at Boardman Park for an amount of $20,990 plus a 10% contingency for amount not to exceed $23,090 and that is funded through TBA capital outlay. Make a motion. Support. Yeah, I have a motion by Councilman Johnson supported by Councilwoman Pats. Is there any discussion? I just have a comment. I'm glad that they're doing this. I know it was brought up at one time. We had a resident that was complaining about her elderly husband and that, so I, I'm glad you're doing this. And as a frequent user of Boardman Park, I appreciate it. <laughs> so, is there any other questions? If not, all those in favor say yes. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries. Item 6.15 is a motion to approve the purchase of a portable dividing wall from ScreenFlex portable partitions for the use in the banquet room at the Ford Senior Center for an amount not to exceed $6,469. And this is funded through the TBA capital outlay. Motion. Support. Okay, I have a motion by Councilman Ramick, supported by Councilwoman Winton. Is there any discussion? I just have one question. I'm sure. All the questions tonight. Um, and I know what a partition is. Where would they, you know, it's a banquet thing. Well, how would they use it? Don't they have the separating that real great big huge wall? Uh, currently they do it. And that system has failed because of the structural integrity of the overhead. Okay. Uh, you can no longer keep shading the floor and it cannot support that overhead weight. So if we went back with that option, it was going to get very, very expensive. So this is a, a very economical uh, choice that will also satisfy um, the needs of the senior center so they can have division between the rooms and they're doing separate activities and things of and that And is it tall nature. enough to kind of, you know, oh, like if you have eight, one party going here and one thing over eight there? Eight feet in height, correct. Okay. Yeah. So it wouldn't bother whoever's in one no, side? No, no, it, it won't. And usually when we have even the rentals, no one ever does a split room rental, um, but the seniors, like, so if they have bingo going on and line dancing, this gives them that separation is, which, is what they want. Okay. All right. Thank you. That was the biggest complaint to me. It was separation of the classes, so they'll be very happy about this. Is there any other questions? If not, all those in favor say yes. Yes. All opposed say no. Motion carries. Item 6.16 is a motion to approve the purchase of handicap accessible van for the use at the Ford Senior Center from Hoekstra Transportation, Inc. Low quote for an amount not to exceed $40,548. And this is funded through the Smart Grant Account Rec Programs. Motion. Support. Okay, I have a motion by Councilman Johnson, supported by Councilman Remick. Is there any discussions? Yes, I just have a... Do you... Uh, we have anything uh, at the handicap van now? Is currently, it? we do not. No, and this, it, it makes it hard mm -hmm. uh, for some of the clients, uh, if they have doctor's appointments, things of that nature, that have certain uh, limitations. This allows them... Uh, it gives them the ability to get to those appointments, and uh, it can be staffed by our current drivers. It gives us another vehicle to uh, transport seniors that... Uh, have limitations that can't get on the bus. All right, that was my question too. We have enough drivers to, to take this. Don't yes. we use the smart bus for that too? Uh, well, we uh, we have the smart buses. 
uh, but those are those are set up a little bit differently. This is something that can actually, uh, if you're in a wheelchair or other limitations, you can get in this and be secure and get to your appointment and back home safely. Okay, but well, we have drivers for this then? Correct. Okay, thank you. Okay, is there any other discussion? Um.